welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie before we get started lord i come before you and lord i thank you so much i thank you and i praise you for who you are in my life holy spirit I ask that you word my mouth because you know what needs to be said and you know what needs to be heard in the mighty name of jesus if someone watching that doesn't know you lord god give my heart of repentance in jesus name amen okay today i come on to just mention something that crossed my heart i went to my father-in-law funeral um this past weekend the lord sort of like um as i was like reflecting on that and just reflecting on death period the lord sort of showed me something in that we don't really have control over our life we don't have control over our lives it may seem like we have control over our lives like just say like say the job that we want we go after we get it um the house that we want we go after we buy it we have the money to buy it we go and we buy it the car whatever etc whatever it may be we feel like we have control over our lives but we don't have control over our lives god he is the alpha and the omega the first and the last the last the beginning and the end he has the last say so in our lives, whether we know it or not, whether we serve in him or not. He's the beginning and he's the end. So he know our beginning and he know our end. He was the, he's the first and he will be the last and he's everything in between. He's the King of King and he's the Lord of Lords. And with that being said, um, as I was going through, reflecting on the funeral, it just make life a whole lot easier if we say yes to Jesus. That's it. It just makes it easier for the end. At the end. It will be so much easier for us because we would know where our destination end. Because this is not our permanent home. I mean, I thank God that my father-in-law went to heaven. And we know that without a doubt. Without a doubt. I know people say it. Because they don't want to think nothing else. But we know for sure. We know for sure. And I give God all the honor and glory for that. But let me get back to what I was saying. So we think we have control but we don't. Because the reason why we don't. We don't know. Lord has control of all things. But at the end. It shows that he has control over all things at the end of at the end of it all because we have no control over how we die we have no control over that you know yes the people that commit suicide they're controlling it but that's not his will for their life because he have he has the beginning that they will be born and the ending in which they will leave this earth other than that, other than the people that commit suicide and they make the choice themselves on when they leave and that's due to pressure of this world, not begin, being able to handle the pressure of the world, that's pretty much how they decide. But besides that, we don't have no control over how we die. We have no control over when we die. We don't have no control over that. We can't say, Lord, take us on this day. Lord, take me on my birthday, on this year. No, he all, he the beginning and he the, he's the end. So he already have that. He already know what we die from. We don't have no control over that. The ending of our lives show us that we never had control over our life. What we have control over this is the one thing we truly have control over. The one thing is our final destination. Our final destination. Whether it's gonna be heaven or whether it's gonna be hell. And choose this day. I advise you to choose this day whom you're going to serve. Decide this day. Because everything else, we have no control over that. We don't. We have no control over that. But we have control over our final destination. If you don't know the Lord, 
I ask that you ask him to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. And lead you and guide you to all truth and all righteousness. That you, that your final destination will be heaven. Living with him for eternity. And with that being said, that's all that I have. In Jesus name. Lord, I thank you and Lord, I praise you for that wisdom, oh God. Lord God, that this is not our permanent home. But Lord, you give us a choice. You give us one choice that we have control over. And that's our final destination. We can choose you, which is heaven. Or we could choose the devil, which is hell. You give us that choice. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you that I chose you. And that so many people have chosen you. So Lord, if someone watching that doesn't know you, Lord, I ask that you give them a heart of repentance. That they too would choose you. That they too would choose life in the kingdom of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. And with that being said, until next time, repent.